let's get into the topic of today's video, which is the defund the police movement. And this is almost coming up on a one year anniversary. What are we at? It's May 11th, the time I'm recording this video. And what I mean by the one year anniversary is obviously the events that, you know, with uh, George Floyd, that kind of sparked the whole defund the police movement. And as we're approaching a year, we're kind of looking back on, well, how's that defund the police movement worked out? So I was scrolling through Twitter today, May 11th, and I saw Bill de Blasio, uh, mayor of New York, he signed a bill stating that they were going to fund the uh, police department, the New York City Police Department, uh, by $105 million, so additional funding. And I believe I've been seeing stuff in maybe Portland. I could be wrong on that, you know, wrong on the city. But I have been seeing little cases here and there of certain municipalities that were sort of big on, hey, we should defund the police. You know, we should switch, allocate, reallocate the money, invest in the community. And in those particular areas, there's been a recent surge in crime for various reasons. But again, there's crime. There's more crime there. So they're kind of walking that back, you know, the whole idea, hey, maybe we shouldn't fully defund the police. So what I want to talk about today rather quickly, we don't have to be here too long, is I just personally feel the people that scream to fund the police the loudest are the ones that need the police the most. And here's what I mean by that. Those particular people, I don't think they are fully aware of what would happen if the police were just totally abolished. Because what I want to say is, depending on who you talk to, that defund the police, right, that particular phrase could mean a, an entirely different thing. Some people, when they say that, they might just mean, oh, well, let's reallocate money, reinvest in the community, that'll drop crime, you know, da, 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 da. But then other people, when they say defund the police, they mean, nope, total abolition, it upholds white supremacy, let's get rid of it altogether. And those people, those are the ones I'm kind of talking about, they are not going to be fully in store or fully aware of what will happen if you truly do just abolish the police. Because there really is that thin line that's holding back people from just totally kicking in other people's doors because, hey, no one's enforcing the laws anymore. And that's just my personal opinion. I understand there's a lot of negativity towards the police right now. I'm with you. I'm not one of these people that just defends one group wholeheartedly because, well, that's my side and I always have to agree with them. I'm going to call out wrong where I see it. So if you show me a video of a cop, maybe they're using excessive force. Hey, it's a bad shoot. You know, they should have used a taser, right? That was obviously a big story uh, about a month ago. I get it. There's bad There's bad police officers. You can argue how many there are. Is it all police officers? Is it only some? I, I don't care necessarily how, how many or how few. If you show me a, a police officer doing something bad, I'm going to say, okay, well, they shouldn't have a job. They should be reprimanded. More training, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm trying to say is I understand all the negativity around the police right now, but in my opinion, they provide us more good than harm because, again, they really are the ones holding back people from really infringing on other people's rights. And I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be ready for what's in store if there's no longer people enforcing the law. Just the other day, I saw somebody say, you know, in areas in America where there's less police, there's less crime. And I understand like the context of it. They're obviously trying to refer to certain suburban areas. I get it, right? Like maybe the most you're going to get there is domestic disputes, speeding tickets. I get that. But really, when you break that down, that's kind of like saying, well, on roads where there's no speed limit signs, there's there's no speeding. There's less speeding. Like who would have thought? It's To me, it's a dumb argument because it's just kind of like, okay, well, yeah, because nobody's going to be enforcing laws. No one's enforcing rules. So, of course, you're going to have less crime because, again, right, no one's enforcing those particular uh, laws or rules. But all I want to say now is, again, I'm kind of making a case that we should keep the police. They they provide us with more good than uh, than harm. And again, because I think the people that scream to fund the police the loudest, they need them the most. Same, uh, It's the same people who scream that they want a revolution. Well, the revolution's not going to be kind to the people that are asking for it. That's kind of another way of saying that. But what I just want to say quickly now is just because I'm making a case that we should keep the police doesn't mean that I'm always going to agree with the police and what they do. Here's what I mean. You need to understand, especially if you're someone that's not big on lockdowns, you're not someone who wants the government to infringe on our Second Amendment right, and, and even our First Amendment right in some cases, you need to acknowledge that the police, well, they're just an extension of the government, and they're going to be the ones on the front lines enforcing unconstitutional laws. 
I want you to think about that for a second. You know, when it comes to lockdowns, people wanting to worship, and obviously people practicing their Second Amendment. Those are just a few few examples. But police are just an extension of the government. So if Democrats are going to essentially be in control of the government and they're going to now tell the police, oh, well, hey, now you have to enforce these laws, these new rules, these regulations. Well, if these police officers do it, I mean, what, what's your, what's your thought going to be then? Are you going to be, you know, pro police then? And I'm not saying just because you're against the police then that means, you know, oh, you're, you know, do away with all cops. But I'm just trying to give everyone some some clarity on the situation, so to speak, because I think too many people get caught up in, oh, well, I'm supposed to be on this side, so I need to go down the list here, always agree with this side on this, and, you know, you can never branch away. So I just want to say, you know, I, I'm someone who acknowledges, you know, I'm going to be pro-police in the sense that I'll I'll say that they definitely have a right to exist, they, they provide us more good than harm, but that's only going to go up to until there's a police officer knocking on my door saying, you can't own that anymore. No, you can't go to this place. You can't practice your religion. I'm not even religious, but you get what I'm trying to say. So hopefully I'm just someone, you know, random guy on the internet providing an opinion. Maybe you agree with some stuff. Maybe you disagree with some stuff. And I want you to comment down below, especially if you're still watching the video. Hey, if you make it to the end of this video, because not many people do, let me know you're still here. <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts on it. At the very least, let me know what you think about the video quality, the audio quality, right? We can talk about stuff like that too. But again, let me know if you really do agree and or disagree with my message on police, people needing them, people not needing them. It's not going to go anywhere. And it's uh, just something that I think is here to stay, especially when there's elections coming up and there's high profile cases. Uh, I think people are going to continue to use that movement to get elected and, and gain political power. So I appreciate you checking out the video. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in a few days.